smugglers, highwaymen, and murder await the most haunted team in Cornwall. most haunted. In the past, many travellers would battle against the treacherous Bodmin Moor and come and rest in this week's location. Some of those travellers were cutthroats, smugglers and highwaymen. And it's said that some of the villains and their victims still haunt the Jamaica Inn. Jamaica Inn was erected in 1750 to give shelter to travellers using the turnpike between Launceston and Bodmin. The inn's isolated location made it a popular stop for smugglers. Contraband from France and Ireland would be landed on the Cornish coast, then brought across the moor by pack horse and hidden at the inn until it could be sold on. The inn and its shadowy past were both immortalised in Daphne du Maurier's novel Jamaica Inn, published in 1936. Many people visit this famous inn year in, year out, not just for its smuggling stories, but also its ghost sightings. We're in one of the most famous coaching inns in the whole of Great Britain, the Jamaica Inn. Here, on Bodmin Moor, in the middle of Cornwall, myths, legends, mysteries, ghosts. This place has got the lot. This room is supposed to have a very oppressive atmosphere. Many guests have woken up in the middle of the night and fled this room because they've seen the image of a woman and child walk through this wall. A mother and child spent their last night here at the inn before catching a boat at Falmouth. And of course, the boat sank. And there's often a sense of fear and trepidation that's sensed by people spending the night in that room. My daughter's had room five. And when we first went in there, we were expecting a horrible atmosphere in this room. And there wasn't. It seemed perfectly normal, light and airy. And we thought, is it a bit of a wind up on the quiet? Um, but later, when it got to night time, the atmosphere changed. And we went in, and near to the bed, there was an icy cold spot, which I felt. And a couple of others had gone in the room first, they'd felt it too. And I thought, no, perhaps I'm imagining it. So I went back outside. And when I came back in, it was still icy cold. This room has been witness to many strange occurrences, muffled voices, heavily booted footsteps, and the image of a dark man wearing what can only be described as a highwayman's outfit. On many occasions, a green man has been seen, or shall I say, a man wearing a green coat, wearing a tricorn hat sometimes, but often bareheaded. He's been seen by many people, including a couple of solicitors, husband and wife, who were obviously asleep one night, Husband woke up to see a man wearing a green coat standing at the bottom of the bed. The following night, they were woken again, but this time to noises in the courtyard. And they heard horses' hooves, the whinnying of horses, and a coach with metal wheels in the yard. The strange thing was that they noted that the sounds were coming off gravel, and yet the courtyard was cobbled. And of course, most people would have thought that coaching inns would have cobbled yards, but this didn't. These cobbles are quite new, and for many, many years, it was in fact a gravel yard, so they got that one right. This is the original bar, and it's said that a young man was lured from here many years ago and murdered on the moor. Since then, his shape has been seen in the corner and leaning against this fireplace. Could it be his ghost that's coming back to the inn to finish his drink, and could it be his ghost that's seen sitting on the wall outside the inn? There's a man outside. He's been seen frequently, standing by the wall, leaning against the wall. Various theories. Number one, he could have been a sailor. He may have been murdered out there. There's another story that there was a man drinking here in the bar, but he was beckoned outside. Never seen again. And they believe that he's buried somewhere out there 
on Bodmin Moor. I was out the back looking the cellar up. Uh, it was about sort of 11.15, I would have thought, uh, just sort of winter, wintry night. And as I was coming back through, um, I got the distinct impression that something had walked through me. Um, it's, I basically got force which sort of moved me back. The staff don't like to come down into what they call the generator room in the daytime and they absolutely refuse to come here at night. They say that there's a feeling of being constantly watched and the lights go on and off on their own and they've all seen a caped figure standing in the corner. I think something could well happen tonight, but I must be honest with you, I have suggested going out onto the moor, but I'm definitely not going alone. Recent sightings and paranormal activity have been occurring at the Jamaica Inn on a daily basis. Phil Wyman, our paranormal investigator, had conducted the baseline test prior to the rest of the crew's arrival. All relevant readings had been taken and the trigger objects had been set. With many eyewitness reports at the inn, Phil was hopeful that we might experience something paranormal. Phil, this is a very, very famous place. Do you think the ghost stories have sort of been embellished over the years, or do you think they really are genuine? Well, that could very well be the case, but due to the fact that there's so many investigations happened here, with loads of evidence being picked up, that I, I'm willing to dismiss that and say that this place is haunted. So, where do you think the most active places are here? OK, uh, bedroom four, uh, bedroom five, and most of all, the courtyard, which I believe has been overlooked quite a lot in the last previous investigations. Why do you say that? Um, it's because the, the investigative notes that I've read, everybody seems to say, we must do the courtyard, we haven't done the courtyard, we didn't get time to do the courtyard, so I think that's an area we should concentrate on. So, hopefully, are you looking forward to a good night? Do you think we're going to catch anything? I'm very much looking forward to the investigation here, and I'm very hopeful about of all the places we've done, I've got a really good feeling about this one. It could turn something up that's really interesting. We had all heard of other paranormal investigations taking place here, with fantastic results. Would we be as lucky? With the arrival of medium Derek Akora, we were ready to begin our investigation at the Jamaica Inn. OK, oh, the residual energy in here. OK. Oh, OK. Now, at times, come on, Sam, give me that imagery. At times, I'm getting now what's coming to me, a, a feeling of um, disjointedness, a feeling of um, uh, craftiness, uh, a, a male whose uh, essence actually comes in here and goes out of here at times, who would cheat people, uh, a great a hoarder of things, a hoarder. Did he, did he reside here? I feel he must have had very strong links here at some time. Um, OK. Right. I'm getting a big... big fella. Big one, big shoulders. Very strong. And he's... Ooh, he's a nasty one, this one. Um, he... Um, I'm seeing kegs. Thank you, Sam. And I'm seeing boxes, wooden boxes and they're all pushed together, and it's because of him. It's because of him. What does that mean? OK? Yeah, he was most definitely linked with smuggling. I feel, at times, he's got this strange hat on. He wears, like, a hat. You say strange hat, what? Yeah, a funny shape. Like what? To me, what I've just been given, it's a hat that you would probably think, you know, looking at, this would be worn by a highwayman. Mm -hmm. But he's not a highwayman. He's a smuggler. He's a smuggler. Right. But he wore this hat. And his garb, he used to cover the best part of his body. It wasn't a, a, a cape, but it was like a long covering. Like a cloak. Like a cloak. Right. And um, he had a couple of those two different colours. Yeah. One was black mm. and one was deep green. This might sound a silly question, but what can you actually see via Sam what he had underneath this cape? I can't at the moment, okay. uh, but I know there were certainly boots because I feel as if, you know, I've right. got boots on here as well with the sole. Come on. Yeah? <laughs> okay, can you give me a name? Can you give me a name? Can you get the name for me? 
Go on. Okay. I'll repeat it. Yeah. Jack. Mm -hmm. Jack. What? Can you give me a surname? See if I can get it for me, Sam. Okay. It sounded what Sam said to me. Jack, very clearly, and it sounded like Travellus. Travellus. Yes? And he's the one. This is that big man you're talking yeah. about. And that's definitely comes, Jack. Yes. And he comes at times here, and what he does, he shows himself sometimes. Uh, 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 the only way I can imagine is like a shadow. Mm -hmm. OK? And other times, he tries to startle people, you know, mm. and they may see him wearing this, like, distinctive hat mm -hmm. and this cloak. He does that purposely. Are you able to sort of tell us how long ago he was active here last? OK. That's Would that be possible? I feel um, that this person, uh, we're not talking a long time ago, OK? Mm. We're talking about modern times here right. now. OK. It's like, you know, what Sam's just showed me, so I've got to put that together. Showed me a Christmas tree. Oh, right. And all the lights. Mm -hmm. And the next minute, this soul going like that. So. I've got to take that to be symbolic, mm -hmm. is that uh, this soul here, um, Christmas time mm -hmm. and New Year, right. around celebrations. What sort of things, um, do, does, he, does he come into this particular room? He does. Yeah? Yeah, he does. And for some reason, I don't know why, but it seems that we, um, it's like, it's not him coming through the doors, it's like him just transporting himself through the walls. Mm. Um, there's also something to do with this window, with him. but. As I'm discussing, what? One, seven, nine, one. What does that mean? 1791. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's so specific or what, about Why is it, what, what about the window? No, about the smuggler, right. about Jack. Right. 1791. Um, he's just said these words. Uh, well known in Paul Pero. Oh, right. Is that where he lived? I don't. Okay. The strong connections mm. right. with that name. How do you feel this Jack died or passed over to the other side? How did he come? How did he go over? Um, I feel it's only a feeling because mm. I'm not getting told. Oh, yeah, show me. Okay. Mm. Um, I feel the authorities must have took his life. Right. He got caught. Right. Okay. So Derek had picked up on the presence of Jack Trevellis. According to Derek, this man, when living, was not very pleasant. Would his ghost or any other spirits make their presence known to the most haunted crew? <laughs> at Jamaica Inn has had many ghost sightings. The most frequently seen is the spirit of a young woman and a child. Would Derek be able to pick up on her presence? And if so, would he be able to tell us who she once was? Oh. You okay. picking up on something there yes, now? Yes, yes. No, I've got an essence of a, a young lady. Okay. Kia. And a little barber. Oh. Okay. It's a little boy. Okay. She comes out of this mirror. She comes out of the mirror? Well, this area. Right. Maybe the wall. Mm -hmm. she, her entrance is not through the door. She comes through here. What she does, she makes her way with the little boy here. And she looks down into this area on this bed. And she stares and she stays there. And the little boy's looking also. That, to me, if anyone was sleeping here, they, this lady and the little boy would frighten the life out of anyone Why? lying here. Because it's the essence that comes with the lady and the boy. What happened to them? I feel they were murdered or at something, their lives were taken from them. In this room? I feel in this area, this building, something happened with these two. And I feel, ooh, that these two were, um, how can I put this? They were a, a secret of someone who was very um, esteemed. Mm -hmm. And it's like, again, I've got to take it if it's not like a maid or a person that was and gave birth to this child mm -hmm. and the father for a period of time, uh, you know, they'd be around, but 
people not to know that the child was his. Was his. Right. Because he had his partner right. here. So who murdered them? The innkeeper. The innkeeper. Mm. Okay, the innkeeper. Mm -hmm. And who was that? Who's that, please? Say it again. He's a nasty one as well. Mm. Can you get clear links? He walks here as well. Is he? Is he? Is he grounded here? Yeah. Gosh, there's a lot. Lots. There's a few of them here. Yeah. There, there is. There With all the lights in the building turned off, we split up into groups and made our separate ways to different areas in the inn. Richard Felix, Tom, Wendy and John had opted for room five. They'd been sitting quietly for an hour and then suddenly a creaking noise was heard. Is there anybody with us in here now? Making that noise? Can you do it again? Look at that. Stay still and quiet. Now, what? You got something? I just see a big shadow by that door. You're joking? No, no, I'm not joking. But uh, right, okay. Listen, every time you move that camera, you see that shadow. So I think it's coming off the. Uh, it's, it's, coming off, it's coming off the camera. No, it's not making that noise though, is it? No, it isn't. Concentrate on the noise then. I need to go and check that door. There's not a, a, a window open in the bathroom, is there? <coughs> it could be a vent. Should I go with the camera? You have to keep going on my own. Okay. Okay, Richard. Let's try not to fall over top. It's not that door, is it? No, it's not. Sure. Was that the sound then? That yeah, it was. But hang on. It's not the sign outside, is it? No, it isn't. It's not a door. Tom, there is no draft coming from this window. Let's close the door again. Because something's moving this door. And it's not coming from there either. That's the noise. That's the noise, right now. Just let's watch it. Right. Let me get a train and analyse. So what had made the door move on its own? With no drafts reported and nothing detected on Phil's baseline test, this activity did seem rather strange. Sometime later, we decided to hold another vigil in the same room. I had been told about the door moving by Tom, and I was curious to see if psychic Ian Lawman could pick up on the same spirits as Derek, and if so, would he be able to contact them? I don't like this room. Why? It feels... What was that? Did you not scream? Scream? No, to me it was. I just heard a. Ma <gasps> what the f was okay. That? Okay, everyone, calm down. Okay. Just leave it. Okay. Oh my God! Oh, please tell me that's not right. Where's that come from? So it's coming from the bathroom. Now that isn't the wind, Tom, is it? Gone in there. Yeah, the door was open. It sounded like I just it... saw somebody running there. You're joking. Like coming from in I there. just saw somebody running there and I, I thought I'd lock in the door. Right, let's oh, go. I, I actually saw something. <laughs> I pulled out my hand. It could be I, the one. It could, I be, the saw, it could be the wind, but I saw somebody running here. I thought those bangs and there were comments, there was like three on a run. I thought they came from in here. Yeah, so did I. Let's go back over there. Make 
Oh my gosh. Was that a face in the mirror? Or is that just my reflection? What's that? Show yourself to us. I know. No, I think it's just the reflection. Show yourself to us, come on. I swear to God, my eyes are playing tricks on me, or oh, there is a woman oh, looking God. at me through that yeah. mirror. Right. Stand down. Look to the right. Wave, say hello if you think there's someone there. And a light. Can you see that? Did you see it, Tom, coming out the mirror? A little light. It's funny, that reflection. It could be like flare, though, don't forget. It could be flare, I know, but it just really freaked me out then. There, there. It's like she's got a bonnet on or a hat. Oh, it's like two pieces to it. Oh. Come closer to us, sweetheart. Come on. Can you not see that? Or am I just... Am my eyes just... The right hand to side. the right-hand side. She looks like she's even got a, a hat on. It's like she's yeah. got something like a tie round underneath her chin. Yeah. Can and you see it? Come closer to us. I know exactly what you mean. Show yourself to us. Oh, my God. Tom and I were convinced that we could see part of a woman's face in the bottom right-hand corner of the mirror. At the same time, Ian seemed to be linking in with the spirit of a woman. Was this the same presence that Derek had picked up earlier? According to Ian, it was. I, I wouldn't let him, but he made me. He didn't pay me. She was a lady of the night. She didn't, he didn't pay me. He raped me. And I've got marks around my neck. And I felt the pain. Really? I was listening. Gosh, you went through it there, didn't you? Yeah. How do you feel? I feel fine. I feel really... I feel the room's getting warmer. Yeah. Does everyone... How does everyone it feel? Is actually yeah, it warmer. is. I feel very yeah. much more comfortable in here. She's gone. And you've seen her. Well, the thing is... Okay. Tom? Yeah? Tell me now, can you see what I saw earlier on? Or is it fainter? Or is it still there? It does look faint. Um, it's so strange. I can't see it anymore. What's that, though? What's this? That is will be what's inside the mirror or behind it. But I can't see it anymore. Oh, that's really weird. Don't you think, Tom? Yeah, it's definitely not as... It's as not same. there? That's not there. It's not what's as clear there? as it was. Oh, they are, look. Oh, oh, they oh, are, yeah. yeah. Do you think that the spirit of the woman that you picked up on mm -hmm. was the woman that was responsible for making the noises? Yeah, she was letting us know. She wanted help. Mm -hmm. 
I was convinced that I had seen a woman's face in the mirror. Was it just a trick of the light, or was it the image of a ghost? And if so, was it the only one we were going to see tonight? The crew had separated throughout the building. Richard Felix had decided to battle the elements in the courtyard. The wind's howling, and the sides creaking, and it creaks, and it blows in the wind all year round. Our two cameramen, John and Simon, had opted for the storage rooms. Make a noise, move something. Carl and Phil had decided to venture into the generator room, where staff members refused to go alone. Can't see you. Can't hear you. It's just Phil and myself here. Please try to make a noise. I'm actually getting quite frustrated. Why? When? Is that why you're frustrated? I was sure something was behind me there, and you have to. Wait. <laughs> that did scare me. I thought she was away from herself. Saying that. It was the wind, wasn't it? I think it was in there. Hmm. <laughs> I've got goose pumps all over myself now. And, uh, come on, show yourself to us then. You come to these places like the Jamaica Inn or, you know, pick any place we've been to. We only go there because there have been a lot of eyewitness accounts of ghost sighting. Now, if that's the case, if these things are actually ghosts, they want to be seen. If they can be seen by the naked eye, they want to be seen. So why do they not show themselves when there's a television camera so the whole world can see them? Nothing, is it? No. No. That's not it. Just when you get that sensation of something stood over your shoulder, looking at you or something. Mm. Move something. The generator room was a scary place, and Carl and Phil were not about to give up. They decided to bring the rest of the crew in, including Derek, to see if any paranormal activity would occur and hopefully be caught on camera. Now, as we entered this uh, atmosphere of it. Um, it's not good. Now, this is an area where I feel if I spent any too much time around this atmosphere, this ether, uh, it wouldn't take long for me to want to be sick and vomit. Why? Why is it so bad? Um, I've got to say these words, thank you. OK. Again, I'm getting this, like, feeling of hopelessness, about a man, about a man mm -hmm. who is often here, and the manner in which he lost his life, he's not forgotten, and he's angry, and he's upset in the manner in which he found himself leaving his physical body, and he's angry at someone else who slayed him, took his life, without a doubt. And it's like as if I want to Did you hear it up there? Do you hear something up there? It is Because that's room. where I want to go. That was me, that was me. Go on down. You know, it's okay, Evie. Up there, on that level, the higher level. Yeah. Right there. Yes, there was a man, okay, that was strung from the neck and he was dangled there and he was hung by this other. And he's the one that is in this vicinity and area and he's not forgiven. And he's still to this present time, he roams. 
and he, he can't, he's not took himself out of the atmosphere, he's not gone on, and he's... Oh, can what you hear that? it up there? It's up oh, there. It's rolled, he knows we're talking about him. I heard that. You heard it? So it rolled across the top Right across, head, though, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, you heard that? Now, he, he knows we're here, and he, his essence is here. Are you blowing on me? No, I'm not. You are, you're blowing not, on me. I'm Don't not, blow on me. I'm not in that. My, head, my head's sort of looking up there. OK, and I've got to say these words. Thank you, Sam. Oh, is that... Do I say it that way? OK. Mr. Broad, go on, say that again. James, Mr. James Broad. Mm -hmm. And there's a connection with what has been done up here. And James is not responsible. But his brother is. Who's his brother? John Broad. John Broad. Is responsible for this. Who it killed this man? Yes. Who, who is the man that they killed? That died. Uh, someone who tried to... Um, um, come on. Who was um, tried to? There was some kind of underhandedness gone on over uh, transactions, or a transaction. And James, James Broad, who was here, mm. told his brother John. So James was not guilty of anything, but apparently the name John Broad had this person strung up here. Mm. And yet I don't feel as if. John's energy comes here. Right. I don't know what that means, but he's given that to me very clearly. I'm aware of him there now. Could we train the light up there? He's there now. That's Sam, OK. He tried to dupe the two brothers. Right. Out in a transaction. Right. And James didn't take the offence, but John did. Mm -hmm. And yet... James Broad, James Broad was here. I don't know, he was he, he, either he run the place or what have you. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. What did you just say? No, I can see shapes up there. Yeah. I can see white shapes, yeah, like there's can. light. Yes, you're seeing them. It's... Oh, my God! You're seeing them? I think, I think it's the light of the cameras coming through no, the big... It no, no, it, it wasn't, Phil. No, it, it was. It was it's very clear. I saw something back there, then. Yes, there was. You, you were seeing it, Ivy. And it was quite long. Wasn't it? Yeah. The brightness, it and it did that. That's him trying to put the, you know, for the naked eye to see at least something. So if you stand here a bit, you can still see it. If you stand back a little bit. Can you? Shall yeah, just lean back a little bit. Oh, yeah. Can, can you see it? No, but that wasn't Shaft what it was. Light. It wasn't no, what it was. It was, it was like a long... It's not shown the way it, it is now, Phil. The way it is now, what we're seeing now, is not what was showing before. It was almost, to me, it was almost like kind of... Like a shadowy body shape yeah. with a with a heady head, it was weird. Yeah. I've see not that, seen an you outline were, before. You were, see, you were actually seeing it, okay? It was actually manifesting that way. I saw it with my eyes myself. Okay, should we? Should we? Um... What was What's that? that? You heard it behind you? Yeah, something dropped on the floor. Carl, did you me. hear that? I didn't hear anything. So it I just happened from directly from behind you. I heard from there, Phil. Yeah. yeah, came yeah. right behind me. Yeah. If you wish yourself to be shown and known in whatever way you wish to do it, whatever effort, please, would you know, we're here, we are friendly, and we'd like to find out a little bit more about you. We're talking about here, a what man. What was that? Is that you, yeah. Phil? Yeah. I'm just checking to see what was I, wrong I feel this man, OK. He had his life taken oh. from him. Oh! What's up, what's up? What's up? Is Someone, it rain? Right. Some... Ah! Yes, come down, then. He's trying, he's doing this. Calm, calm, calm. calm. Yeah, it came from the top there. Something, something just fell yeah. on my face, Yes, like it did. Muck or something yeah. just fell on my face. It was from here. <laughs> Keep talking, and you too. Uh, do exactly what you want to do. Um, we're not any, uh, feeling any fear from you. Where's the boy? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's a boy, it's OK. Oh! Huh. <gasps> I suppose that's why it's called the generator. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on, show yourself! Carl? Is that you, Stuart? Yeah. No, no, Is that no, you? I've not moved. 
Where? That one over here. That, <coughs> you have Carl's hand on you. That little thud there, right? I'm crouching down. Okay. Yeah. I've, been, I've been crouching down. Well, that sounded like a foot right, right. stamp, Behind wasn't you? it? Behind you. A foot oh, stamp. Again, yeah. It's happening here at the back a lot, isn't it? Is there anybody here? Can you hear my voice? Is there any, anybody that can hear my voice? You can hear me and see us. Can you please try and do something? Do something more. Can you try and rattle the door or make a big bang, anything, just to know that you're around? Please try. Noises were definitely heard, and we all felt we were not on our own. It wasn't a good feeling in the generator room, and it was about to get worse. <laughs> We had all decided to investigate the generator room, a place that was small and dark, where staff members refused to enter at night. Already we had witnessed strange noises, and we just knew that we were not alone. When you started seeing things up there, it got very weird in here. It really mm. sort of got quite oppressive. Mm. But I think if, if there's something in here and it doesn't want us in here, why don't we ask it, it to do something to get us out? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Good idea. Do you want me, do you want, oh. Yeah, cool. If you can hear my voice and you can see us and you don't want us in here, then please can you let us know and we'll leave. Can you please do something, anything at all? Just, I can see that. <sighs> all right. All right. Now, there it is. Right. That, was that? that is it. It's, he's thrown something, OK? That sounded like a... <laughs> Whoa, 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 watch it's this thing, watch this thing, watch this thing, this yeah. thing loves oh, the roof off. Yeah, all here, yes. What's the hissing noise? Yeah. Hold on. What's the hissing noise? I don't know, but I've nearly pulled my pants. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Did any, everybody hear it? I didn't know, I just did heard you not, the Where's Tom? Tom, did you hear a hissing noise? That's got to be on. I didn't hear a hissing, I heard the That's got to be on, because oh, it was it's right behind on. me. It was so, so loud. That's got to be on audio. So loud. He's, he's thrown something, OK? That sounded like a. It's, he's thrown something, okay? That sounded like a. <laughs> I heard like a, a rusty nail or something. That yeah, first, and then. That's no, yeah, a big piece of metal, that was. Something, something yeah. It's that's a big piece of metal. Come on, he's, he's telling you. He's Come telling on, you, what, he, you know, he doesn't want us there. Yeah, let's see what. Just ask him to do it again. Ask him to do it again. Yeah, you may do it again, please. If you can hear my voice, please, could you try and demonstrate by. Opening the door, banging something, throwing something, anything, just to let us know that you don't want us here. And we will leave now. That's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. <laughs> OK. <laughs> calm, calm, yeah. calm. Yeah. Calm down, everyone. <laughs> if that was you that threw something a minute ago, we're not sure if it was, but could you do that again so we, could, we understand that you don't want us in this room? OK. Yeah, there's this enough. again. Oh, that was a, that oh my was gosh, that came from up there. It did, yes. Yeah, yeah threw it down. That was a stone or something. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. Can we go then? Oh, I mean, we should say. Heavier. I feel... Oh, come on. Do you mind? Can I say something? Mm. Uh, I know deep down that this is really spiritually mm. is going to kick off here. I can't remember a place where we've had so much happen in one no. of us. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. If you're really angry. If you really, Don't really too much why? Well, because he may uh, be capable of, of lifting an item. Can I, can I just say this, this roof yeah. is very, um, yeah. very old, um, and the guy said like you have to be very careful because it's at. Well, it's and that's why I said cheap. watch this beam because yeah. it's beam onto the roof, wasn't it? We what saw it mean? earlier. Didn't what we? Do yeah, you well, mean? basically the slates, the slates, have, the roof needs to be uh, renewed pretty quick mm. because um, it's, 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 it's about to be restored. But the, who's the behind you? Uh, Tom. Me. Oh, no. No. Over your shoulder. No, no, it's a, it's a reflection off the camera. No, there's no one behind. John. No, it was almost like I'd seen an arm behind your mm -hmm. behind your head. Really, John? Mm -hmm. No, there's a huge shadow. I can see that. Yeah. No, it was a white, like a like 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 a proper arm, like a, uh, behind John. It wasn't a shadow, no. No, it wasn't a shadow. Mm -hmm. I thought when you said Tom, I thought, all oh, right, it's Tom, but there's no, no one Tom's, there. Tom's to the, well to well, the left. Tom's there. If there's anyone behind okay. me. 
Prop, prop, please, uh, please show your arm again. Can you hear me? I promise this is the last time. We just need to make sure that it's, you can definitely hear us. Do you want us to leave this place now? Do you want us to go? If you do, can you give us a sure sign that you can hear my voice? Please. Let's go out now. Get out now! Come on. Get out now! Come on. 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 Come Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, what was that noise? I thought that was you jumping up. I thought well, it was you. What was it? Well, no, I heard something move. Oh, there was a movement, yeah. Good. Right, get out. He, want, he wants you. us out. He wants, he wants us out. He wants us out. All the supposed haunted locations were continuously monitored throughout the night, with nothing out of the ordinary to report. We did, however, hear strange knocks and bangs in various places, especially in the generator room. The image of the woman's head in the mirror does seem quite unusual and at the time frightened me to death. On the whole, our investigation at the Jamaica Inn was intriguing. Whether it was paranormal is up for debate. I'm really very, very impressed with the ghostly goings on here at the Jamaica Inn. And it's got more ghosts than, than even I realised. Possibly the best bit was when I was sitting in the monitor van and I heard this almighty crash and then these screams coming from the generating room and I came rushing out to see what had happened. I thought someone had actually been injured, but in fact it was paranormal activity. Uh, that was incredible. Um, although I was nowhere near it, my, my heart was racing and I was quite excited at what happened. Now during one of Yvette's final vigils, it might appear as though she's caught something on camera. Now this takes the form of uh, what looks like a figure, a head, um, reflected in the mirror. Now we've only seen it on the small video camera screens and it would be interesting to see what it looks like on a bigger screen. So I'm kind of reserving judgment on that until I've seen it properly. I feel most definitely that the Jamaica Inn is haunted, quite heavily haunted, by some negative and some sweet souls. Fantastic place, I'm glad we did it. The atmosphere here is brilliant. Um, it's so far out of the way, it gives you a, a really sort of creepy feeling when you walk into the building, and it's such a legendary place. Um, overall, it's, it's one I'd highly recommend uh, doing investigations at in future. When the crew were in the generator room, there are a number of unusual events, most notably things apparently falling from the ceiling. Now, the fact that items fall from the ceiling isn't of itself paranormal, especially when the ceiling is actually quite an old ceiling. You'd expect things to fall from time to time. If that was you that threw something a minute ago, we're not sure if it was, but could you do that again so we, could, we understand that you don't want us in this room? OK. What seems to be particularly unusual is that those items falling seem to correspond with those times when people were asking questions, asking for a sign. But that could simply be a coincidence. Oh, something just touched me at the oh, side! Yes. Get out! Get Come out! on, let's go out now. Let's get out now! Perhaps the most intriguing incident to happen during this investigation was again in the generator room. And this is when Stuart reported being touched from behind. Now, the fact is that this is a very unusual experience and we can probably rule out that nobody was behind him. There didn't seem to be anybody behind him. And I'm fairly sure that Stuart wouldn't be lying. He really did have the experience. But we've got no ready explanation of what might have caused that. It could be a paranormal explanation or there could be some other reason which we haven't been able to, to figure out yet.
Perhaps what's also interesting is that the, the group respond to it in a very you know, frightened way. They're all very frightened by this. And this could partly be explained by the fact a number of very minor events have happened and it culminates in this very striking episode, which explains why everybody is very shocked by it. Our night at Jamaica Inn was fascinating and terrifying, and one that will not be easily be forgotten. Until the next time, sleep tight.